computers now have primary control of critical functions. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Harbison from SpaceForEverybody.com and as you can see behind me, it's a rainy Friday. So what do astronomers do on a rainy day? Well, I get organized and I do a lot of prep work. Now you can see all of this stuff on the table and I know you're thinking, what is all of that for when you're just looking at stars? Well, this is how I stay organized and the Astronomical League, if you're not familiar with them, they do a lot of work in teaching local amateurs, any amateur really, uh, how to observe the night sky and to get familiar with the night sky. My whole goal in all of this is really to become a master observer. I want to know where things are in the sky and I want to teach other people the beauty of the universe. And this is how I do it. So I have guidebooks and journals and lists that the astronomical leaks provided and I keep them all in my notebooks where I keep my notes and then I transfer them to my journals. It's easy to do that on rainy days. Now the Astronomical League has done a lot of homework for you. They've already put together these lists. They have lunar observing lists, they have constellation lists, you name it, they've got it. And you can work your way through these as you do visual observation. They've even put together an observation journal. If you're getting started, you don't know what kind of data to record, it's all listed right here. It's simple things and really common sense things, ways that you know and they know that you've observed it. And of course, once you complete the list, you turn them into the Astronomical Society and you'll either get a pin or you'll get a certificate. But really what you get is an understanding of the night sky. Now I've put together a small video of my last outing with my Astronomical Society for you to watch and kind of get an idea of what a normal night of visual observation looks like. So let's take a look at that.
Now that was about five hours of visual observation done with my astronomical society at our local dark site, Cloudland Canyon State Park. It was a great night, about a 10 to 15% moon. Um, you could see the light domes from Atlanta and the light dome from Chattanooga in the distance, but it's still a nice sight. Uh, you can see me bouncing around at the eyepiece with a red light on my head. Uh, it looks much brighter in the video than it actually is at the site. But carrying my little notepads, much easier to carry these than all of this. So find a system and find something that you're comfortable with. The most important part is that, is that you get out there. I have to say, I did not start off like this. I started off just getting out with a telescope and looking through it and taking pictures. And I eventually got to the point where I wanted to learn it. So if you have any comments or questions or tips for me, just leave them in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget there is space for everybody. Peace.